I'm Hubby Corbin and I teach band here at Albuquerque Academy. Every sixth and seventh grader takes a performing art and they get to choose from fun things like choir, dance, classical guitar, orchestra, or my favorite, band. Now percussion is a really important part of the band and I want to share some of that with you today. Maybe you'll even be able to join me towards the end. Sometimes we use drum set in our ensembles we might also use a set of timpani, these copper symphonic timpani, which have an amazing sound. Really great percussion. We've got a lot of instruments here at Academy that we can use. Tam-tams, gongs, chimes, various keyboard instruments like vibraphone or xylophone. We also have a great set of marching percussion that no doubt you'll hear at our athletic events. Go Chargers! And finally, here at Academy, we have a very special orchestra. It's a steel pan orchestra. We have an entire set of steel drums. Now, if you've never heard a steel pan before, this is what a steel pan sounds like. Percussion is one of my favorite, and like I said, it's a really important part of the band. You probably, though, don't have a set of timpani in your living room or even a steel pan in your bedroom. So instead, we're going to look around your house and we're going to find some items that we can use to play some percussion grooving. So let's head to the kitchen and find those items. So I've collected items from my kitchen to share with you today, and I thought they might sound pretty cool. I got a plastic bowl. Um, I found a metal pot. That might sound pretty cool. Uh, I found a box of mac and cheese. That sounds very cool. And a plastic container. Uh, in terms of finding stuff at your house, I would highly recommend not using glass instruments. They sound great, but they might break, so better to be safe. So you'll need something to play these items with. I like a pair of chopsticks, but you could also use a, a pair of spoons and use the backs of them, or a fork, or something like that. So, in music, we, a lot of times we talk about a beat, and the beat is like the pulse of the music. It's very steady, it's like your own pulse. It usually stays pretty steady. It might be kind of slow if you're resting, or it might be kind of fast if you just ran a race. The same way with music. Some music is slow, some mu music is fast. But the beat is going to stay steady. A lot of times, when you're listening to music, if you're tapping your foot, that's the beat that you're feeling. A lot of times, beat is felt as opposed to heard. So you can think, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's the beat of the music. Now. Another important thing about grooving is rhythm. Rhythm is going to be different notes spaced out in different lengths of time in usually a pattern. And one way we can explore that is by playing a rhythm. See if you can take your chopsticks or your spoon, spoons and echo after me with two of your instruments, just two for right now. My turn. You try it. One more time. Great. So that's, that's kind of a basic groove. We have a low sound and a high sound. And I'm just going low, low, high, low, 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 high. Let's try it one more time. I'll do it and then you do it. Just one time. My turn. Your turn. Low, low, high, low, 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 high. Cool. It doesn't necessarily have to be low or high sounds, but just some kind of groove that you can play along with. Now, let's do that groove four times in a row, one after the other. I'll count with you. Ready, 
Go. One, two, three, four. How'd you do? Can get a little confusing, but if anything happens, keep on going. As one of our most famous music teachers says here, fake it till you make it. But it's also pretty groovy. Let's try it again. One, two, four times go. And one, two, three, four. Great. Let's add on to our song, our groove song here, our kitchen groove. Uh, let's see. Let's play some of the other instruments. We're going to play maybe another instrument. We're going to hit it for four counts. One, two, three, four. We'll play another one for four counts. A third one for four counts. And then I'm going to take my box of mac and cheese and just shake it. Like that. Let's try that section. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right. So to make the whole song, let's do that groove section where we repeat our groove rhythms four times. Then when we solo on the instruments, we play one instrument at a time. And then let's go back to that groove and finish out our song at the very end of that fourth groove with playing everything real fast, kind of like the big ending of the song. All right, here we go. Kitchen groove. One, two, three, four. Solo section. Thanks so much for joining me with some grooving percussion fun today. I hope you get a chance to choose band two and groove on. <laughs>